Hey guys, so I just woke up not too long ago and I had a phone interview at about 9 o'clock this morning so I woke up at 8.30 just to wake up and now I'm just vlogging. I realize I haven't been doing that many vlog videos since Asia so I think I might be doing a weekly kind of day in the life video of that week so expect that. After this I'm probably going to head to the gym and yeah. So I probably look really fugs right now because I just got out of the gym. Um, ah, where did my keys go? I really want to go to the store and buy cucumbers because um, I've been watching a few juicing videos and a few people have been using it in their juices. So probably gonna head to the store. I kind of want to go to Whole Foods. Hmm, maybe I'll go to Whole Foods later. What, 11.53? Oh, and I don't know if you noticed, but I have this little beard thing going on. I don't know, I haven't shaved since, um, Christmas. So, and you might think that this looks like No Shave November, but I just got really lazy over the holidays. I'm like, F it. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, but it's starting to get annoying because I kind of don't like that kind of prickly feeling whenever I, like, run my hands through my neck and my, the bottom of my chin, so I probably will uh, shave it off tomorrow. We'll see, I don't know. Okay, so right now I'm at this place called Papaya. It's a Vietnamese restaurant in the Seattle area. So I came here because my head is like spinning and I wanted something to eat and I figured fuzz like the cure of everything. So I'm here with my best friend. Not Crystal, but it's my other best friend, Elsie. Hi! Hey. Um, she has, what is this? Honey garlic chicken wings? No, it's just garlic chicken wings. Garlic chicken wings and some spring rolls. Um, I have a pho that's probably going to come out soon, so I'll show you that. <laughs> the chicken pho. Yum. I'm probably going to scarf this down. Right now we're at Target and we can get the pillow pets. Pillow pets. Um, are you trying to find a, a gift right now? Shut up. Wait, we're gonna... No? Just like, no? Cool. Just for yourself? We love Target. I love Target. Target is the best store ever. Yes. Because you can find anything here. Yeah. Right now, I'm heading over to Denny's because I'm super hungry. I'm really craving breakfast food, um, despite it almost being <laughs> 1 o'clock. But I have a $20, $20, 20% off coupon that I got from this website called RetailMeNot.com. Well, I didn't get it from that website, but it was kind of like a... Uh, catalyst website which led me to this coupon um, yeah if, you, if any of you haven't been to retailmenot.com you guys should go because it's basically a website where you just type in uh, the search box for any company and I in this case I typed Denny's and it led me to a page that has a list of active coupon codes slash printable coupons and it had like buy one get one free but can't use that since my ass is going alone. So I ended up just choosing the 20% uh, percent off the entire check coupon. Here I am at Denny's. I got the Lumberjack Slam. It has uh, hash browns, eggs, uh, ham, bacon, uh, sausage. Then I substituted the pancakes for pumpkin pie pancakes and then toast. I ended up shaving the little chin strap that I had because it wasn't looking cute. Um, I think I'm going to be juicing in a few minutes. This is what I'm juicing. I got some celery, um, half a cucumber, um, a pear, a pomegranate, and uh, two carrots. So I'll be cutting these up and then putting them in the juicer. I'm also watching Heroes right here on my laptop on Netflix. So yeah. We'll see how the juicing goes. So my setup here looks kind of ghetto, but whatever. Basically, put the little cucumber in here, and then push it down. Get the juice right here. Put a little celery. So yeah, just finished juicing, and I was kind of scared putting the pomegranates inside my juicer because the seeds are really hard, and I was scared that it was going to break my juicer, but it ended up being okay, um, and I was told that the seeds for um, any fruit is actually good for your juice because of the nutrients, etc. So this is my juice. It's not really that glamorous looking. It's kind of an orange texture, but it has a lot of really great fruits and vegetables in it, and I'm going to try it out for the first time, so... 
Mm. It's pretty good. Right now I'm here with the best toe um, at this Thai restaurant called Thai, Simply Thai. And we ordered um, Pad Thai and this basil chicken and with rice. So we'll probably show that afterwards. Food is here, so it's the um, holy basil chicken, one star, and Pad Thai, one star, and rice, and a hoe. <laughs> right now I'm reunited with my one of my favorite ice cream flavors uh, from Baskin Robbins. It's called Love Potion Number no. 31. They only have it around the time near uh, Valentine's Day. And there's a story behind it. So tell the story. Okay. It's loud. So um, he he got the ice cream this from Baskin Robbins from my house, and it was raining. <laughs> How long ago was this? This was like maybe in high school. Six, seven years ago? Yes. Yeah. So it was raining and we were outside walking to the car. He took a lick and it just went on the ground. <laughs> what does he do? I thought he wasn't going to pick it up. I thought he was just going to leave it. He scoops it up with his fingers, mind you while it's raining, and tr puts it back on the cone and tries to eat it. I'm like, Jerome, it's disgusting. <laughs> Hey, I was trying to dust out like the gravel. Like it was gonna be okay because yeah, we just dust. Raining. <laughs> but oh, I love this stuff. So right now I am gonna go on my journey to find um, bubble tea and sushi because I've been really craving it for the past two hours. So I'm gonna be doing that first. <clears throat> Um, I have no real plans today. Um, I feel like I don't do anything anymore, but I hope this isn't moving that much. I'm sorry if it does. I was thinking about going to the gym today, but I'm so lazy. And my New Year's re resolution wasn't to go to the gym, blah, blah, blah. But I really should be going because <clears throat> I've been gaining so much weight lately. Like, no excuses. I've been eating. A lot. Um, though I have been cutting down on my um, soda pop intake, I hardly drink soda anymore, which is a great thing. I usually, um, alternatively, I just drink like water or I've been drinking a lot of chai tea. So I just got back in my car, and this is what I got from this place called Genki Sushi. It's not my favorite uh, sushi place, but it's pretty inexpensive, and I believe they have a few locations um, around the world, actually. Some in the Philippines, some in the Middle East, some in Asia, so. Um, got, you know, the salmon skin roll, got uh, the California tempura roll, um, a crab California roll, etc. And then, in addition, I got a taro um, smoothie with tapioca pearls from this place called Cherry Dupont um, in Renton, Washington. They're both in Renton, Washington, the sushi and the milk teas. So right now, I'm at the mall parking lot. What the hell is that car doing? I have no idea. I don't know if it's like in a car alarm or like somebody in the car, but it's really deteriorating me away from this area. It looks kind of weird. So right now I'm heading out of this coffee shop. Um, I was working there for a couple of hours on editing a YouTube video. Sorry for the music. Um, I edited my collective winter haul over there uh, for a few hours and uploaded it there too. So now I'm heading home right now. It's about 4 o'clock and it's slowly but surely getting dark outside. That's the one thing that I hate about winter, it being dark super early. Like, in the beginning of winter here in Seattle, it starts getting dark at like 3.30. It had the worst road rage. Like, I wish you would see me act if somebody cut me off. I don't know, well, I didn't put it on YouTube, but on my Facebook status, somebody cut me off the worst. Like, I was trying to go into a turning lane, and you know how they have, like, the dot, the dotted lines and then the solid lines, and usually you're actually, by law, you're supposed to merge into other lanes with dotted lines, not solid lines, because you're, that's just how it is. I'm about to, um, 
get to the area where the solid lines hit the dotted lines and I'm about to turn over to the next lane. But this bitch behind me, who, but, who, mind you, wasn't even right behind me. He was maybe like 50 or 60, 70 feet behind me. Speeds right behind me and cuts me off. And I was like, hell no, bitch. And so we're at this turning lane, turning left, and I do the whole like high beam thing. And then once we turn, I speed up next to him, and I look at him, I'm like, really, bitch? I do that look. And then I speed up to the guy that's in front of the guy that cut me off, and then I'm just at that same that same pace so that the guy that cut me off can't um, pass either one of us. And this guy's getting pissed, and then he starts to like tailgate me. I mean, I guess I'm that bitch, but starts to tailgate me and then do his high beams and like for a good two miles I'm just like going the regular 40 which is the speed limit and this guy I don't know if he needs to go somewhere or like where he has to almost hit me because he did almost hit me and so I'm like okay and then afterwards I, I speed past him and then like this guy like I guess he passes the guy that was in front of him pre um, previously and then he tailgates me even more and then, I'm not trying to, I pass my house, because I don't want him to know where I live, obviously. And so, he gets in the next lane and passes me, and what do I do? I grab however many coins on my, um, in my compartment here, throw it down my window, and I just throw it to his car, um, to his window as he passes me. And then you can see all the coins, like hit his, hit his uh, windows, kind of like the, that sound. And by then, I made sure that he was in front of me so he can't follow me, so I just turned into the next street. And then, that's that. So, moral of the story, don't piss me off because I will have the last laugh. Hey guys, so um, I just woke up not too long ago and I opened the blinds for my windows and I noticed that it's snowing outside. Um, I knew that there was snow in the Seattle area, a little bit north of Seattle, but I live south of Seattle and we hadn't had any snow. Um, and there's a random chair in the middle of my backyard. Um, there, there wasn't any snow yesterday, so, um, I wasn't anticipating there being snow today, but there is, so, my dog's right over there. He's just, Gabe, what are you doing? Did you go pee-pee? Mr. Gabe! Hi there! There's someone on your nose. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, we're probably just gonna um, stay in the day, have some hot chocolate or something, and yeah, just <laughs> stay warm inside. Okay, bye.